Dana, and I'm the CEO of Foster Success. We want to empower foster parents to make meaningful connections with their foster children. I have a friend who grew up in a home with domestic violence and drug abuse. He remembered his brother being pulled up the stairs by his hair, and at the age of 12, he was removed from his biological parents and put into foster care. In just two years, he went to 15 different foster homes. That's a new home every other month. And this is deeply traumatizing, and honestly, us ordinary people, we can't even relate to it. Foster parents don't necessarily get a lot of information about the children, which makes it hard for them to connect with them, understand them, and support them. And they're taking on a huge responsibility, um, and we need to support them in that. So we're building a platform where we're helping them about how they're supposed to deal with these traumatized children. Our vision is to be able to identify mental health issues before they arise and manifest in the children using machine learning algorithm and predictive analytics and then giving the parents actionable advice on how to avoid this. Currently we have 13,000 foster children in Denmark and we spend 450,000 kroners each year per child. We're gonna take and use the Danish market as a proof of concept and then move into the United States. Because in America, they have private foster agencies. Our claim is that we can reduce the amount of relocation per child. Each time a child is relocated, they become more traumatized. They move into a category of higher risk and therefore become more expensive to house. The most expensive children cost up to 54,000 kr uh, kroners per month to house. Um, and the foster system is generally very low on tech use. So we see this as a huge opportunity. It can be super hard having a foster child. Currently, the parents are actively seeking, creating and using Facebook groups to support each other, and they use it several times a day. But the problem is that Facebook is compromising the privacy of the children. And also, if you get advice from the wrong parents, you can, it can be more harmful than helpful. Our first initial prototype is gonna be based on a forum. So very similar to the Facebook groups, so that we can easily transition the parents into the usage of our, our platform. We already have um, a sign up from Mesa County Foster Agency with 10 of the first 30 foster parents, uh, foster families. And the way we're going to monetize is that we're going to say we take $40 for each family that uses our service. The United States are using 134 billion kroners a year on foster care. We're going to target the foster families that have smartphones so that they're digital. And then we're going to say, let's take 10% of the car. So that's 445 million kroners of revenue each year. We want to reduce the cost for the government, reduce the traumas for the children, reduce the mental stress on the parents, and hopefully in the future we're going to be able to see more functional children well, adults at that point, exiting from the foster system and going into the society. That's the plan. We have a team that is super passionate for doing this. We think this is so needed. Nobody's looking at the foster care system. And right now we're looking for passionate government mentors and foster care partners. Thank you.